Hello friends and welcome to another class for standard 10. In today's class I'm going to give you an idea about the lesson Project Tiger by Satyajit Rai. Before we start the lesson you are watching Daily English Classroom and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do subscribe to our channel so that we can help you better in this lesson Satyajit Rai talks about his personal experience let us know something about Satyajit Rai first you all may have heard this name, haven't you? Satyajit Rai is a very famous Indian filmmaker who has made lots of Bengali movies. He was inspired by the famous Italian film called Bicycle Thieves. Have you seen that film Bicycle Thieves? If you haven't, you have to watch that film. It's a wonderful film. And Satyajit Rai got inspired by this Italian film and started making films by himself. And he was not just a filmmaker, he was also a film critic, publisher, calligrapher and much more. This lesson is a memoir. Memoir is like a biography of a person. And in this lesson, he is talking about his experience of making a film in which he has used a real tiger. Have you noticed the title of this lesson? It's Project Tiger. Project. It's a project, a mission done by Satyajit Rai. What was he doing in this project? He wants to shoot a film. In that film, there is a scene in which a tiger moves in the forest and in his times there were no modern technologies like animations or things of that type so Satyajit Rai used a real tiger that he got from the circus company so let's go to the lesson and see how he made that shooting with the tiger possible let's go to the first paragraph no one can beat Hollywood when it comes to making films with animals in them. I remember films in my childhood and there were quite a few of them that had an Alsatian called Rin Tin Tin. This dog's acting was more impressive than a human's. Later, we got to see three or four other films with a collie called Lassie. It seemed that the director could make Lassie do just about anything. These trained dogs were famous stars in their own rights. And the money they earned was no less than what a real film star got. Their owners could easily make as much as a hundred thousand rupees from just one film. 
Satyajit Rai begins his memoir by paying great tribute to Hollywood. And you all know about Hollywood. It is the filmmaking company where most of the English films are made. So, Satyajit Rai says that Hollywood is number one or Hollywood is the best in making films with animals. And he also gives examples of two animal actors which were his famous animal actors when he was a child. When Satyajit Rai was a child, he used to watch some English movies and he really loved two animal actors or two uh, movies where animals play an important role. He is talking about two dogs, two animal actors. The first one is an Alsatian and you know Alsatian is a type of dog, a breed of dogs. And the main actor of that film was a dog and the dog's name was an interesting name Rin Tin Tin. So who was Rin Tin Tin? Rin Tin Tin was an Alsatian dog who plays the main role in films. And he also talks about another dog. Here it's a collie. Collie is another breed of dogs. Another type of dog. And the name of that dog was Lassie. So these two dogs or animal actors were his favorite stars when he was a child when he was watching films on TV these two animal actors really attracted Satyajit Rai so remember the two animal actors Rin Tin Tin and Lazi so what is he trying to tell you he tells us that Hollywood is the best place for making films with animals in them and he gives two examples films in which these two dogs have acted films acted by Rin Tin Tin and Lazi so we also have many films in India where animals play main roles but they are very much limited but Satyajit Rai he says that the animal actors in Hollywood they are treated with great respect the filmmakers the film directors and everyone in that group or in that crew they give great respect for animal actors just like a human actors just like we respect great film actors and Hollywood they give great respect for animal actors also and they give a very good amount of money for acting in films 
So, Satyajit Rai says that this animal actors also got a large amount of money from films. The income, the amount of money they got from films was same as the amount of money that a human actor gets from acting in a film. What are the main points in this first paragraph? Satyajit Rai begins his memoir by talking about Hollywood or the film industry called Hollywood. He says that Hollywood is the best or number one in making films with animals. And he gives two examples one is Rin Tin Tin and the second one is Lazi. These two dogs have acted very well in films and he really loved watching those films. Now let's go to the paragraphs second, third and fourth. Let's read the second paragraph. I realized how reverently these animal actors were treated when I happened to see the shooting of a film 20 years ago in Disney Studio in Hollywood. The main character in this film was a large dog. I reached the studio to find that the shooting had not yet started. The cameraman was getting the lights ready. It is customary for actors to be present when the lights are arranged, for they have to show the cameraman how they will walk or where they'll stand in a particular shot. In the case of very famous stars, this job is done by their stand-ins. A stand-in is usually a person who is physically similar to the real actor. The stars themselves arrive only when the lights are ready and it's time to take a shot. Here, Satyajit Rai is talking about his experience when he went to see a shooting in the Disney studio in Hollywood. He is giving an example to what he said earlier. How important is the position of animal actors in Hollywood. To prove this point, he gives us his own experience of visiting the Disney studio in Hollywood. When he reached there in the Disney studio, he knows that the shooting is about a film in which the main character is a dog, a large dog. And when he reached there, the shooting hasn't started. Everything, everyone was getting ready for the shooting. And before the starting of the shooting, there are some other works to do. And the lights were ready, the lights were arranged uh, where this character will move all those places they have to mark. And the crew, they have to keep some lights ready, all these things. So the works before the actual shooting was going on. And uh, Satyajit Rai, he knows that this is a film 
in which the main character is a dog and he saw the dog also so he was waiting for this dog to come to the scene and get ready for the shooting but here another word is used here that is stand in and you have to know what is a stand in a stand in is a person who plays the role of the actor for some difficult in some difficult scenes for example if there is a film in which the there is a scene of fight usually the actual actors will not take the risk of doing this fighting and in the place of this real actors some other person some trained person will act for the main actor this person should be somewhat similar to the main actor at least in the size so sometimes in the fight scenes you will see only the back back view of the actor so that part is done by these people the trained people who are called stand ins or dupes they perform the most difficult actions for the main actor for uh, helping them also it's a means of living for such people what does a stand in do he plays the role of the main actor he does all the difficult actions and other things for the main actor the main actor will give this part of the film to the stand in and the stand in wears the same dress uh, same with the same appearance and the same size will do all the fighting scenes and other difficult things so here when satyajit rai was waiting to see the shooting of a film in which the main character is a dog so he says that it was customary customary means the usual practice so uh, before the actual shooting of a film the cameraman the lightsman everyone will do their work and make everything ready once everything is ready and it is ready to take the scene the actor will come this is the usual practice the usual style of shooting a film so here satyajit rai did not understand why this dog is standing there and not getting ready for the scene that really confused him why this dog is not acting why it is not getting ready for the shooting scene let's read what is the reason paragraph number 3 here in disney studio i noticed that a few actors were moving about in the set and on one side standing quietly was the protagonist the same large dog the cameraman shouted to everyone to take their positions but the dog remained where it was this puzzled me could it be that it was not required in the next shot everyone is getting ready and the cameraman was ready 
So Satyajit Roy was wondering, so in this scene, this dog is not needed? Why the dog is not getting ready for shooting the scene? That really puzzled him, confused him. Why this dog is there, not coming for shooting when everything is ready? Suspense. Let us see what is the reason. Before I could ask someone, a strange thing happened. From nowhere appeared a little dwarf, followed another man carrying a hairy dog skin. Then, to my perfect amazement, the dwarf went down on all the fours on a chalk mark on the floor, just like an animal and the dog skin was draped over him. Then he crawled from one mark to another and the camera got busy with their lights. It finally dawned upon me that this dwarf was paid to be the dog's standing. And Satyajit Rai was really confused. Why in this film the dog is the main character but it is there taking rest. It is not coming for shooting. He wants to ask his doubt to someone there but before he wants to ask this doubt to someone else a strange thing happened. There came a dwarf. So who is a dwarf? A dwarf means a person who is very short, a dwarf, a short person. So what was this dwarf doing here? Then another man came there and in his hand there was a dog skin. What is a dog skin? Uh, the skin of a dog. So. What is going on here? The dwarf just stand there and he started crawling on all the fours. All the fours means on his hand and his legs just like a dog. This dwarf or this short man was moving like a dog on all the fours on his hand and legs and this dog skin was placed on his body so it will look like a dog moving so he understood later that this dwarf was a dupe or stand-in for the dog it dawned upon him dawned upon him means after some time he understood what was actually happening there the dog the real dog is taking rest there because he is a VIP or a very important person the real hero of the film and his part is done by a human being, a dwarf, with a covering on his body, just like a dog. He is crawling there on the floor and doing the role of this dog. So why did Satyajit Roy tell us this example? Because he wants to prove what he said earlier in the first paragraph. Do you remember what it was? Hollywood is the best place for making films in which animals play an important role. And also the respect and the importance given to animal actors in Hollywood. This incident of visiting the Disney studio in Hollywood is mentioned here to 
to tell us the point that in Hollywood animal actors are treated with great respect and love.